just us two son. I have been planning on making this video for a few days now, but uh, there's just been so many things that I wanted to put in it, and so <laughs> I'm actually recording in my car in the garage because there's just too much noise going on in the house. So what you see here is the Active Fire Mapping Program, and it's on dis December 17th, 2017. So the fire that's most burning at the moment and continuing to burn is the Thomas Fire, which now is at 269,000 acres, which is a 5% increase from yesterday. It's in Ventura County, still undetermined. It's 45% contained. So I just wanted to show you that for a moment there. And, uh, you know, all these fires have so... I mean, there were a lot of fires when I last looked at this map. There were fires in, like, uh, Texas. But now Texas is covered in snow, which is very odd. So uh, it's the Thomas Fire here that is still raging which is very, very odd that it's still going on. And I will show you, this is what it looks like from the satellites. This is what all the fires look like. And, you know, at first it stopped at the Mexicali border, but now you can see that there's a fire down in Mexicali, uh, a little bit south uh, on the west side there, just above... You know, like about an inch above the Google sign. Interesting. I hear a helicopter. No. Oh, gosh. Wow, that's really loud. Um, so, if you look at all this smoke going out into the ocean, you know, they say the winds come from Arizona. And I live in Arizona. And I can tell you that on December 6th, December 7th, yeah, we had a lot of really strong winds, and I actually made a video about it. And I guess that's where they get the Santa Ana winds, but they're claiming that they're hot winds. But they're not hot winds, they're cold winds. I can't tell you how cold it's been. It's been really cold. It's been in the 40s and 50s and everything. And like, at night, you know, it's been in the 40s, and in the day, it's been the... But it, it changes. It's been in, like... It's been in, like, the 60s, 70s. It's just geoengineering at its finest. It has been all over the place. There's no, you know, real winter weather. There's no fall. If I could say when fall started, I would say it would be maybe a, the last couple weeks which is not normal at all. But the last couple of weeks has been colder. I've had to bundle up, put on more layers. I've been, you know, uh, you know, trying to, and what's weird is like that it gets really, really cold in the morning. And then, you know, we suddenly had this, this rain in the past two days. And, uh, I think that rain was supposed to go to California. So, you know, I already showed you the active fire map, so I'm going to close that out. Here's an, you know, I already showed you map that, so I'm going to close that out. I already showed you that. You can see all the smoke going out. And, but do you see this circle here in the middle where it's, um, there's nothing? And I wish you could see my mouse. I don't have the right. Uh, recording program where you can see the mouse or whatever the cursor um, but there's this huge area out in the ocean that has nothing barely anything and if you look down south of the Mexicali border you can see that there's brown stuff and if you go to this map which I think I have it on another thing uh, let me see if I can find that uh, here. So if you go to this, 
you can see this is actually from today and the brown stuff that you see on the side of the west coast is dry the white and gray is moist okay so and then you see like how arizona where i am right now is right on the border of new mexico right there um where that whole circular area is and you can see that it's blue so you know it's just very weird how this whole swirl just you know blocks out california and all this brown dry air is where all the fires are even in mexicali so you know that's that's that and uh you know i wanted to read this too california's wind fuels state thirds uh, state's third largest wildfire so um sorry strong winds that have powered the third largest wildfire in california's history were expected on sunday to further the a blaze that has burned 267 wait 267 i can't talk right now 267 500,000 acres okay nearly 8,500 firefighters are battling the so-called thomas fire in southern california which began december 4th and has destroyed more than 1,000 structures and threatened 18,000 more, including homes in the wealthy town of Montecito, just outside the coastal city of Santa Barbara. And that is a, those are beautiful areas, guys. While the winds are, were expected to ease on Sunday, which is today, near Santa Barbara, northeast of gusts, up to wind 50 mile, 55 miles per hour, were forecast through Sunday for parts of Ventura and Los Angeles counties. National Weather Service forecasters said, you can't trust those guys because they're owned by the big companies that have all the geoengineering stuff and they're told what to, they're told what to say, you know, you can't trust them. The blaze centered less than 100 miles Northwest of downtown Los Angeles has forced evacuations that turned neighborhoods into ghost towns and filled air with smoke. The fire is now 40% contained despite hot Santa Ana winds that have powered its expansion at times, sending embers far ahead of its main flank. Now that just doesn't sound... Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. This stuff is just unreal. And the fact that they're saying that an ember flew way, way far away and just started a whole nother fire. One ember. There's a, a security video that... Man, this guy had a winery in... And, um, he watched it from his security camera on his phone and it looked a lot like a lot of lasers were going off. I'll try to find that again. The fire is now 40% contained despite hot Santana winds have powered expansion. Okay, I already read that. Firefighters were employing more than 970 fires, engines, and 34 helicopters to battle the blaze. There was a video here, but eh, I didn't really want to play it. No. No, I don't want to play that. So, you know, here's some photos. Um, this, I mean, it just looks unreal. It's like hell on earth. And you know that Yahoo! 
our Father in heaven. His name is not God. His name is Yahuwah. God is a title. His name is Yahuwah, and he will use... I mean, when he comes, when his judgment comes, which it is coming and fierce right now, he will use whatever means necessary. And I think that he's allowing these people, these people to use their directed energy weapons to start these fires and to ruin all these homes and to devastate the land. If you have read anything about the Bible, it speaks a lot about in Revelation that there will be fires. The land will be burned. I mean, in some parts it says, don't, burn, don't hurt the grass. Don't hurt the trees. Don't hurt the wine. Don't hurt the olive oil. And isn't that exactly what's happening right now? The trees are not being affected. The grass is not being really affected around the homes and stuff. But the houses are. And if you see a picture, which I'll try to get to, you can see that the vineyards are not being affected. So this is what he calls it, this uh, fireman. Okay, so he says it's a... Uh, where did I leave off? Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, here. We're here. It's a beast. It's a beast. Okay? Think about that. Santa Barbara... <laughs> Santa Barbara... Santa Barbara County Fire Department Division Chief Martin Johnson told a news conference on Saturday, but we will kill it. Five of 20 most destructive fires in record history ravaged the state in 2017. Record fires in 2017 in California. Record fires in California. The Thomas, the Thomas Fire is the seventh most destructive in state history, forced many schools to close for days, shut roads, and drove hundreds of thousands from their home. Hundreds of thousands from their home. Where are all those hundreds of thousands of people going to go? It's also responsible for poor air quality throughout Southern California. Do you think those hundreds of thousands of people might end up in a FEMA camp? Now that they have nothing to go back to? And I'm sure they're not going to get any insurance money for it. I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that they're not going to. I mean, look what happened with the hurricanes. They didn't get any. They got nothing. And their homes were destroyed by water. It's, it's water and fire. And you know what these firefighters are doing? They're, they're fighting fire with fire. And my son and I have been talking about that for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> my son and I have been talking about that for a while um, before these fires even started about fighting fire with fire and how it was kind of like an oxymoron you know um, I, I don't know if these starting fires to you know block an area off from getting burned I mean there's so much land how can they even begin to block a fire from you know jumping I mean if it can jump over a highway why what's gonna stop it from jumping over a fire break you know so on Saturday evacuation orders were issued for Santa Barbara County as high winds whipped the fire through bone dry terrain in Montecito on Saturday smoke billowing billowing from nearby canyons and pushed by the high winds choked the air, hindering aircraft and from dropping flame retardant. The governor's of 
Fish Office of Emergency Services said an evacuation order for the city of Ventura was lifted on Saturday morning. Okay. So they are not going to evacuate those people anymore? Do they want them to stay there? Cal Fire Engineer Corey Iverson. Now this is what's sad. <sighs> this is very sad. This guy, 32 years old, died on Thursday while battling the flames near the Ventura County Fire of Fillmore. The blaze's first fatality. He died of smoke inhalation and burns in the Ventura Medical Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office said. And he left behind <clears throat> a young wife who was pregnant and a little baby girl. And you know, all these firefighters that are out there, there, there are women too who are battling these fires. And, you know, they, they're really... And, and, and they're married to firefighters, too. There was I saw a video of a woman who was married to a firefighter. And, you know, they had to have their kids probably spend time with their family. And they said they're not going to be home. Because they have to do their job. They have to get these fires out. And, you know, they're they're calling to duty. They're calling to action. And they're, they're getting their job done. And, you know, I just... I hope that they can go home to their children because I just I just hope nothing happens to them. So that's that's this is all very, very sad. And um here on another note, uh Geoengineering Watch Global Alert News, December sixteenth, twenty seventeen. This is from Dane Wigginton. Geoengineering Watch website, and he has a an update for today. He had a he had a an article from last uh, what was it October? Let's see here. I'll show you here. Um, he's very very good. Uh, at combining the geoengineering and here it is geoengineering fueling firestorm catastrophes I'm sorry catastrophes Dang Wingatin geoengineeringwatch.org okay so all official sources are blaming the increasing extreme and deadly wildfire behavior on global warming alone but is that the full truth? So I suggest that you go to his webpage. It's here. At geoengineeringwatch.org So check that article out. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I might just play a little bit of this. If... No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> like 55. No. That's way too long. I'm sorry. There's other things that I wanted to talk about here. Okay. So. Now, here's what is really the tip of the iceberg. The Boeing... LED airborne laser team successfully exposed the ABL's aircraft conformal window for the first time during flight in May. The exposure of the conformal window is a maneuver necessary for the weapon system to complete its mission of shooting down a ballistic missile during the boost phase of flight. Now, that is what my friends, I believe this is what is creating these fires. These planes are flying up high. They're just going 
know, I'm trying to do a laser action. A lightsaber action noise. But, whatever. Anyways, but, that's the plane. And they can direct it anywhere they want. They have AI technology inside of it to direct it to any particular thing anywhere. Anywhere in their vicinity. So, so you know, they're flying around. Just going. <sharp inhale> lighting a whole row of uh, houses on fire. Lighting a whole row of bushes on fire. Lighting a whole row of trees or mountains on fire. Just to make it look real and legit. Well, what they're really doing is, oh, I hope I have it up. Okay, well, here is the aftermath. And I, I mean, look at this. This is the lilac fire in San Diego. And these are the mobile homes. Let's see if I got this right. Hold on, guys. One second. So you see the aftermath there, right? Terrible. It's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So that is absolutely uh, absolutely terrible. And uh, let's see here. I know that there was a. Uh, oh gosh, this this article it's really long I don't want to read the whole thing but Southern California wildfires trigger mass destruction hurting families economy thousands of people in Southern California have been forced to evacuate as wind whipped wildfires continue to blaze across Ventura County officials said the so-called Thomas fire which started December 4th, about 60 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, has caused at least 50,000 people to evacuate, destroyed at least 1,009 structures, and scorched roughly 256,000 acres so far. About 118,000 additional structures are threatened by the wildfires as well, according to officials. You know, I don't trust any of the... Uh, so-called news because they're just puppets they're told what to say and uh there was something else i saw that the weather channel was purchased by a bunch of cronies who are in control of the weather and they are just puppets the people who work for the weather channel who are on the on the screen who are told what to say they're just Barbie dolls told what to say. Barbie dolls or Ken dolls told what to say, you know? They don't... They don't have real weather. They call, you know, chemtrails uh, some other kind of new cloud that we suddenly have. Well, what are the clouds doing? When I was young, we had four different types of clouds. Now we have, like, 20 different kinds of clouds. What the hell... What the heck is going on? I don't think so. It's called geoengineering. So, that's my little rant there. Anyways, so, uh... The cause of the fire is currently unknown. As of Saturday morning, it was only 35% contained. And by the way, this was... One day ago. Okay? This was yesterday. 
So that was uh, December 16th. One firefighter has died while trying to combat the fire in Southern California. Authorities said on December 14th, Corey Iverson, 32, was an engineer based in San Diego. He leaves behind a pregnant wife and a two-year-old daughter, which is just devastating. Just devastating. It was a beautiful family. Iverson, who exact, whose exact cause of death is currently unclear, but they said it was smoke inhalation, right? And the, what I just said before that about him. <sighs> he had been with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection since 2009. Iverson's wife related wildfire-related death was not the first. Authorities confirmed that a 70-year-old woman died on December 8th. Virginia Pasola was reportedly killed in a car crash along an evacuation route on December 6th. Her death is the first connected to the six wildfires in the region. In addition, one unmanned firefighter, un, oh, sorry, unnamed, I'm so used to seeing unmanned with all these drones, I'm sorry, unnamed firefighter, has reportedly been injured and three other people were burned, the Los Angeles Times reported. What's more, the squirrel, skirball fire erupted on December 6, burning 422 acres and threatening many of the multi-million dollar homes in Los Angeles, Bel Air neighborhood, Reuters reported. The Skirball fire was reportedly caused by an illegal cooking fire at an encampment in which a brush area adjacent to where the Sepulveda, Sepulveda, Boulevard crosses under the San Diego freeway. Uh, I mean, what does that mean? An illegal cooking fire? At an encampment? Is that, like, what, for homeless people? President Trump has also tweeted about the wildfires. I don't know if we can trust him. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone in the path of California's wildfires, he the president, tweeted, the president tweeted, I encourage everyone to heed the advice and orders of the local state officials. Thank you to all first responders for your incredible work. I don't know if I trust you, Trump. In light of the Thomas fires and others, here's what you need to know about California wildfires. How do fires start? Well... While wildfires in Northern California are often caused by lightning storms, about 99% of wildfires in Southern California are caused by humans. Exactly! Except they're not by cigarettes or, you know, a campfire left, you know, flaming. Or a candle burning in the house. These are specific fires. They're not, they are made by humans, but not the humans that you're thinking of, that this article is thinking of. They are not, not created by these normal humans. They're created by the humans that are controlled by the, sorry, I'm thirsty, humans that are controlled by the the government. Let's get rid of as much people as we can. It's it's genocide and it's ecocide. Like Dan Wigington said. Genocide and ecocide. Okay. Oh man, this pisses me off so much. David Peterson, a senior research 
biologist with the U.S. Forest Service Pacific Northwest Station told Fox News. While throwing a cigarette butt out the window is usually not enough to spark a fire, Peterson said. Other simple tasks, like mowing a lawn, really? Or parking a car on dry grass, really? Is that what started all these fires? All these people just decided to park their cars on the lawns? Or go and mow on the same day? And all their lawns? No, the lawns were fine. Their lawns were fine. Their houses got burned. But their lawns and bushes were fine. So, I don't believe that BS for a second. <laughs> I'm not going to read any more of this. I will... <laughs> okay. I'm going to look through it. Okay. It only takes one spark to light a fire. How about one laser beam? Yeah, I bet that lights a pretty hot fire, huh? Okay, here, here, here. For instance, if a rock... Here, I'll highlight it, what I'm reading. For instance, if a rock hits a lawnmower, metal blades that usually friction to create a spark that can ultimately start a fire. Scott McLean, an information officer at the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection of Cal Fire, told Fox, how many titles can he have? And the heat from the car's catalytic converter, a device that's located underneath, that controls its exhaust emissions, can reach up to 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Enough to heat to create a fire if the car is parked over dry, flammable gas. It only takes one spark to start a fire. Okay, another common source is utility flames. Right? Utility wires, Peterson said. On a windy day, these wires can be knocked over and land on dry vegetation. Yeah, I'm sure that happened in all these specific places, right? Mm-hmm. Wildfires are perfectly natural, natural, pheno normal phenomenon. Quote, unquote, Peterson said. Who is this Peterson person? He said, Shh. But as urban areas continue to expand into wildland areas, the risk of wildfires will also continue to grow. We cannot stop them. We can maybe do things to reduce the severity, like moving as much dead vegetation as we can, but they will continue to occur, he added. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to continue to occur now that they've got... What is it? Where is it? Where's my picture? Uh, this! Now they've got this, of course it's going to continue to occur. These are going to continue to occur like crazy. Now, where was I? Okay. Okay. Um, it's like a blowtorch, he says. This is Scott McLean. Okay. And I will leave, I will leave this in. Uh, and it says, why have California's wildfires been so destructive recently? And they say it's because they got a lot of rain in the spring and that it dried up in the summer and that made it much more combustible and the Santa Ana winds and everything so I will leave that in the description for you guys I don't really feel like reading a lot more um, so <laughs> uh, this is about the I'm sorry um, here uh, let's see This is from TechView from December 11th. If it will play, I don't know if it'll play here. Uh, it's it's not gonna work. Sorry, that one's not gonna work. Okay. And here's another. No, that one was the one I read, right? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to go to another... Okay, like... There was something here I wanted to show you guys. 
I have been trying to get this together for the past days, and my computer's being really slow because it's been holding all these 15 or so frames up, and nothing is working right now. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> nothing is working right now. Oh my goodness. Well, first, let's go here. I want to show you where these fires are. Because if you're like me, you didn't... When the moon reaches its appropriate lunar alignment, it will destroy Washington, D.C. ...and turn to ash while the... ...to the oblivion. ...fires are very strange and... Okay, so... ...to say the least. We have specific areas being burned... This is terrible. ...being directed at certain things. Certain things like homes. Look at that green grass. We see houses completely obliterated. You and see green grass. Ash while the surrounding landscapes and, and trees pools and trees. It's just Unbelievable. unbelievable. Description. You'll notice here that stores and restaurants are wiped out while other things are still in perfect shape. This is from extremerealitycheck.com. Are fine, trees are untouched, but specific structures are just Yeah, how does that happen? There's no there's no fire, uh, no fire traffic, no, there's no way you can see any fire that went through here. It was just this building and that building and that building and so such. And, and it's just like so obvious. The grass is green. The grass is green, the trees are full and untouched. No scorches, no black stuff, no nothing. Just totally untouched. What's up with that? How did the fires get to these certain buildings but the exactly. surrounding areas, including exactly. the parking lot, look normal? Exactly. Where did the fire come from? Did it just, uh, oh, maybe it came from uh, uh, the trees up in the northern part? of the video, the top part of the video, and then it just hopped over to the building, or or maybe these people, you know what, maybe these people actually, who are <laughs> linked up with these government people, maybe these people, Arby's, you can see the Arby's sign down there, Maybe he was like, hey, man, I need to, you know, get out of my building. Can you please? I'll pay you a bunch of money if you just burn my house, burn my, uh, you know, restaurant down in the fire, you know, so I get my fire insurance. Maybe that's what maybe that's what these people are doing. Oh, who knows for these restaurants and buildings that have absolutely no path of fire to them. They're just green trees, green grass, and a burnt down building. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, extremely out reality, <laughs> you did a really good video and Austin Powers, for instance. like linking Austin Ladies Powers is really funny. Phase two of our Ebert project. Is phase I, I used to love this movie. movie. Anyways, this is the phase in which we put a giant laser, laser <laughs> quote-unquote. <laughs> As you know, the moon rotates around the Earth like so. <laughs> when the moon oh, reaches man. its appropriate lunar alignment, it will destroy Washington, D.C. Okay, I actually think that uh, Kim Jong-un, or whatever, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un, Whatever his name is. I think he actually might want to do that. So. <sighs> and. Uh, did you know that. The weather channel. Um, was. Uh, owned. Was uh, bought. Out. By globalists. I wanted to read this to you. Uh. The global power structure has countless tentacles, t countless minions who carry out its insatiable need to control everything on the planet. Those in power have gone to insane, unimaginable, and unbelievable destructive 
complaints and their attempt to control the weather in order to hide the crimes of their ecocide and genocide that are a direct result of climate engineering, assault on our planet. The globalists are... Oops. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. stop. The globalists also... Uh, da, 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 da. The globalists also needed to control the flow of information to the public that relates to climate. Thus, the purchase of the Weather Channel was necessary. The Weather Channel and their cast of paid disinformation actors are tasked with covering up the completely engineered and unnatural climate anomalies that are now occurring constantly as the geoengineering programs uh, are fully unleashed. The experts from the Weather Channel engage in constant theater to paint whatever picture they are told to paint. All of this theater is done between the constant stream of reality shows on the Weather Channel that encompass 60% of their current, current programming. The Weather Channel meteorologists uh, const, const, constantly, oh, sorry, I missed the line, explain away their endless limit of climate engineering events and occurrences as if they were natural. Many of the Weather Channel's background photos are actually skies filled with geoengineering aerosol clouds. This is part of the disinformation and conditioning campaign. So, who are those behind the acquisition of the Weather Channel? Lists of characters and organizations is long, interesting, and alarming. Now, I will leave a link in the description to uh, this uh, video. Uh, not video, but... Um, uh, to Dane Wigging Wigington's channel or website because that's where that came from so I will leave that link there to you you can search it up okay so here we have the destruction of California California Arnold Schwarzenegger I'm trying. So you see that there's lots of houses burned. Still smoke around. Very out of control, as I still say. And uh, well, let's see what's next. Now this, a commenter sent me from Ventura, California. And I'm actually going to play this one because... You can actually see the geoengineering going on behind the scenes. You can see beyond this huge plume of smoke that looks like an actual volcano is going off. They are they still have the guts to go in chemtrail. If you look on the left side of the plume, you can see all kinds of chemtrails. And as I play this video, I'm going to mute it. But you can see, they'll, they'll show it over and over, that there is a, if you look on the left side, right under Ventura County, right in the middle of that big plume of dark smoke, right next to it, from the middle to the left, watch for the plane to go by spraying a chemtrail. Just watch. I'll tell you when it goes. It goes really fast. But yeah, there go there goes, there goes, there goes. So they still have their nerve to chemtrail while this is going on. They're gonna play it again. And thank you to that uh, commenter on my video who brought this to my attention because you're helping me out. You're there it goes again. You're very, very uh, insightful. You can see what's going on. And uh, I don't even want to listen to this woman. Because she just doesn't know what she's saying. She's like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't even want to listen to her. Well, actually, you know what? 
Let's play it. Definitely very, very high. We're looking at uh, 230,000 acres being burned so far, and it's still burning at this time. So that's a problem. Uh, overall, the reason why we even saw all of this terrible fire activity, the fire weather, it's really because we saw so much green earlier this year. Now, you might be thinking, hey, that's normal, right? In April, you're supposed to see green. It's not that normal, especially when you take into consideration we haven't seen a lot of the green like this in California for several, several years. It's been drought-stricken. So back in April, this is what it looked like. Let's go ahead and fast forward to October. Look how much brown now covers the entire state, from Northern California down to Southern California. And it gets even worse when we get into December. Now we are seeing some more snow popping up across the mountains, and that's good. However, we need more moisture uh, at, across the southern parts of the California region and to really, really bring down those uh, fires. So we're looking at the winds right now, not too bad, but still still seeing this slight offshore influence. Fallbrook at the north from the north, uh, we're looking at five mile per hour winds, and the lilac fire, even though you are like 96% contained, is still burning across the region. Chris? And I want to try to put perspective into what's making this so difficult from a terrain perspective. First, let's get our bearings on where we are. Part of Ventura County in Santa Barbara County now affected by this. Here's Ventura right here. And the fire basically burning right up to the neighborhoods and including, unfortunately, some of the Sorry for all that movement, also. guys. I'm and in my car the in the back seat. Burns, so, so I'm sitting in my right son's now. car seat. Within <laughs> this, mainly up here on the edges. The blue areas, the shaded areas, outlined in shaded areas in blue, are evacuation zones. And you can also notice here that some of the evacuation zones are outside of where the fire area is. So unfortunately, it is still possible this fire could move in that direction. And as we look here at the direction that the fire has the potential to go based on just looking at the evacuation zones, here's Santa Barbara. Watch as he Barbara, walks over the land like a giant. Steady incline, mm. basically walking right up into the mountains. And then you can oh, it's a giant. So here's the Pacific Ocean. It's going oh. up, and then just like that, boom, it gets steep enough that you're not really building homes on the side of the hills. Maybe on some bluffs, that sort of a thing. And you kind of, you know, within... And you know, uh, where I live... Uh... There's a lot of, there's a lot of mountains. We're surrounded by mountains. And, you know, the only time, the only cup, I've only seen a couple wildfires where we live. I don't know why California gets so many. I mean, I've seen, when I lived with my sister, when I was about 20, um, there was a wildfire on Mount Lemon, and, you know, we were almost supposed to evacuate because we were living in an apartment c complex right up against, like, right near the mountain, right in the foothills of the mountain, and the smoke was coming down, but um, we didn't evacuate. We didn't have to evacuate because the firefighters had it under control. Even though it was on top of a mountain, 10,000 feet, you know? So, I mean, there's been other fires. I mean, but nothing, nothing like I've seen here in California. And I'm not in California, just so you know. But, uh, I mean, I know the same thing is going on in Europe same thing they're having wildfires quote unquote wildfires <sighs> so I mean I just hope and pray that everyone's okay and uh, I wanted to read this according to a Boeing release this experiment here ABL successful shoot down video of a recent test shot of Boeing's ABL test plane shooting down a short range ballistic missile. So the experiment marks the first time a laser weapon has, and this was in 2010, 2010, 2010? Pretty sure it was, I'm sorry if we're stuttering there. Yes. Uh, February 12th, 2010. Okay. So the, 
This experiment marks the first time a laser weapon has engaged and destroyed an in-flight ballistic missile, and the first time that any system has accomplished it in the missile's boost phase flight. ALTB has the highest energy laser ever fired from an aircraft and is the most powerful mobile laser device in the world. During the experiment, the aircraft, a modified Boeing 747-400F, took off from Edwards Air Force Base and focused its high-energy laser at the missile target during its boost phase as the aircraft flew over the Western Sea Range off the coast of California. I'm sorry for yelling, but that just pissed me off. And from the Missile Defense Agency. A short-range threat representative ballistic missile was launched from an at-sea mobile launch platform. Within seconds, the ALB TB, sorry, used onboard sensors, to, meaning AI, to detect the boosting missile and used a low energy laser to track and target the ALBT, ALTB, sorry, then fired a second low energy laser to measure and compensate the atmospheric disturbance. Finally, the, the AL TV fired its megawatt class high energy laser, heating the boosting, heating, heating the boosting ballistic missile to crucial structure failure. The entire engagement occurred within two minutes of the target's missile launch while the rocket's motors were still running. This was from Military.com. ABL successful shoot down. Successful? Yeah, sure. Successful. Successful. Good for you. You guys suck. You guys suck. All this stuff. All this stuff. All this stuff. All this stuff. Okay, that one didn't work for me. Now, this one is very sad. Well, guys, let me tell you, it has been a very somber act. Why are you going to do that? Okay. Oops. Okay, that was just about... Um, sorry. Stop. Oh, man. That was... That uh, video I just did was just about the... Uh, That was just about the firemen that died, but um, I already read about that, so, you know, guys, this is what's happening in California. These are not natural fires. Oh, wait, I want to find that, uh... where is it, where is it, where is it? I don't want to have to go through my... Oh, no. Okay, just hang on a second. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, uh... Ah. Here it is, here it is. It's from Mental Boost. Now watch, watch what is so weird about this fire. Look at that, uh, it looks like laser beams are going through or are all around the po property, like laser beams. Does that not look like laser beams? It looks like a Star Wars battle is going on out there. I mean, look at, look at the, look at the back where the table is, where they have their, look at that. You'll, you'll see that, that, shoom, shoom. 
right where the glass is cracked on the upper left side, look at that laser light. The guy is looking back and forth at you. If you look, if you look at the bottom right here, okay, look at how he's going back and forth, back and forth. He's like, what is that? I'm sure he's thinking, what is that? What the heck is that? What the heck is going on around my winery? Those lights are not natural. Those are not natural. So something weird is going on, guys. And I mean, this is just this. This is just not right. This is just not right. And you know, they say his winery is here, right there. And the way they describe how it went down, you know, I'm not going to go into that, but because I'll I'll post a mental boost video in the bottom. I just wanted to show you the security footage um, from the news. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, of course, this is all tragic, and it's, it's just terrible. It's just... Uh, it's... There, I mean, and then now there's so many, so many videos that are coming out now. And I remember when the first video came out. I mean, like, no, I remember when I first heard about it. I mean, I woke up that morning and I, I just clicked on my homepage and there was the article. And, and then I started looking for stuff and there was nothing on YouTube. And so I just started to make a video. And I think I was one of the first people to make a video, actually. So, um, I mean, I hope you guys are all safe in California. I mean, if this is Yahoo's way, then that's his way. You know, he is in charge and he will let people <laughs> do what they do. I mean, it's his choice it's his everything and what people cannot do do not do this do not blame him do not blame yahua do not blame yahusha things are happening for a reason things are supposed to come to an end The good is supposed to be weeded out of the bad. The, the, the wheat and the tares. I mean... <sighs> you guys, please... Uh, please look up... Please look up Leviticus 23. Look up Leviticus 23. And look up the holy days that you're supposed to be keeping. It doesn't matter if you're a Jew. I'm not a Jew. I'm a Christian. So look up Leviticus 23. Keep those holy days. Don't keep the holidays. The holidays are all pagan. If you look them up, the truth about them, you will find that out. And, you know, I'm just... I just feel like I needed to say that. So. Shalom. And peace to you all. By the way, shalom means peace. Good night.